now it is August 2nd, as you can see, if I can show you right there, August 2nd, and it is um, time that I do some evaluation. I'm fasting, I like to fast on the first of the month, I feel like it kind of allows me to remove or pick up, like, take all of the heavy energy from last month or whatever happened and to fast and take a moment to kind of not consume, 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 but take like a resting point to really evaluate. And I think this resting point was so needed, so needed in my own life uh, to really evaluate because I've been doing, 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 and I cannot just continue doing, 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 doing without having a real rhyme and reason to what I'm doing and why, and most importantly, having time to rest in between the doing so that I can perform optimally. So, um, yeah, I guess I wanted to just share how I kind of pick myself up every month to, and you can do this any time, to really bring my energy back so that I stay sane. I guess I really wanted to show you this page in, in particular as it is a brain dump that goes over not only all of these different symbols which I wrote down but each time block I use dots to kind of represent how much attention I should put on them. I didn't end up putting all of the actual symbols or icons inside of this brain dump a few months ago, but it did give me an idea of how to visually show how much time or attention I should spend on certain areas of my life. So uh, yeah. I have always loved writing down and planning and scheduling and just putting the ideas down on paper. Yet, it's very rare that I will actually revisit what I write down. So the extensive list that seemed to be consuming my sketchbook grow and grow. Yet through each writing, I find that I get more clarity on the direction I'm going. And sometimes just writing down what I have to do helps me not feel as overwhelmed. So let's get into the brain dump of getting our stuff together. Each month or even quarterly, I like to write out symbols that display larger ideas like this chat bubble that represents communicating and listening to others when they talk to me. When I have all my symbols down, it's a lot easier for me to go in with writing down words of what each symbol is for and what specifically I'm looking to improve or focus on in that realm. For me, I find this so much easier to understand and just write down all of the things I'm wanting to improve or keep track of, all of the things that I need to remember or would like to create and giving it a space where I can write down everything I'm paying attention to for the month. Once we're done with that, I like to make a weekly task paper. I generally have a intention for each day and they are correlated with the chakras, Monday being the root and Sunday being the crown. This helps me have a cycle that I can refer back to. Now you can draw a line and structure your weekly tasks any way you want to. Generally speaking, because I am a content creator, I like to have a section directly below the days and my intention to put all of my content creation ideas planned out for that week. I find for me it's super important that I have a piece of paper that I can actually play with instead of something digitally on my iPad or phone 
or even laptop where I find myself getting distracted pretty easily. Yet when I write on a piece of paper like this on my desk, I will see it every day as long as I keep my desk clean and I'll be able to mess it up knowing that it is okay and this is just where I can put all of the things that I need to focus on within a glance. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on to day number three, which is coming up, and just do the same thing in terms of grabbing a different color, thinking about what is going on in those aspects of content so that they can be planned out. Um, and then we write those down. In this way, I prepare myself the night before for what I'm doing. Now, because it was also the first of the month, I have been using uh, my business book, which I've just been starting to write in, to time block different um, activities and how long each task may take me each project and then also utilizing a calendar to really help with writing down the dates of course i use my apple and google calendars the most uh, especially for meetings and stuff but sometimes just writing it down helps me remember these meetings so that i have that prioritized and even if I don't get to putting it in my calendar, which I'm working on that habit, I have it somewhere where I will see it on almost a daily basis. Whereas my phone, sometimes I get a bit distracted. So, yeah. It's a new day, and that means a new way. Mm. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I just got a shirt from Mill, which is the creator that created this beautiful shirt. And it also came with a beautiful rose quartz. So that's so beautiful for love and the shirt itself. I'm so excited. So let's just put it on. probably the most of the ones I was playing around with. Um, I just wore my sleeveless jacket, got some neon orange tights, and I just feel like it is perfect. I got a medium of this shirt, and I think it's like amazing because it's like at that length where I can wear this pajamas all good, or if I wear shorts, you won't see the shorts. So it's like, it's a cool, good size. I like it. It's so comfy, and I love the artist that this beautiful creator uh, commissioned for this piece. Like, they are amazing. So, absolutely, absolutely, definitely check them out. She's such a sweetheart um, when I've talked to her, and literally, she sent rose quartz with a little handwritten note about the benefits of rose quartz and like how you can use it. 
Uh, which is just such a cute extra, like, with the love frequency that is really coming from this, um, this brand and the clothing that she's creating. So I obviously have the support. It. I love it so much. And I'm so excited. Of course, I'll leave all of her information down below if you're interested in copying your own. Um, I am pretty specific when it comes to the clothing brands I work with because I really do believe in ethically sourced and sustainable fashion and so I am really thankful to be able to have the opportunity to connect with more people while I figure out what to do for my own um and ah oh, this is so cool I just love it so much I just I'm so excited I'm just I'm so, I'm so excited I'm probably gonna go take some pictures and um yeah I just feel really I cleared out my SD card in my camera so I'm feeling it and we'll go do that after I eat so my fast is done for the day we passed that 36 hour mark <laughs> and now we're on the 37 which is awesome so i'm probably gonna drink some water and eat an apple uh and take my dog on a walk and uh, find a place to take some pictures <laughs> Now typically, I'm gonna be honest, I should spend some time journaling, but because last night I was up kind of journaling and brain dumping, I'm just gonna quickly look over what I have today um, and with what people, if I have like a live with my soul sister Aria, but she's not feeling too well, seeing if I have something to fill in during that time. Cause you know, things with people, sometimes they have a tendency to change, which is okay, but being adaptable is really important. Um, I have my SD card all cleared, so I'm going to be taking some photos. So we got our easel, we got our camera. We're just gonna turn it on and hopefully it's charged. It looks like the battery needs to be charged though, because it's on low. So I'm gonna charge it and walk my dog. And then when I come back, I'll do the rest of the things. Now I gotta be honest, I just need my makeup for this photo shoot that we're gonna be going out to film. I got my tripod, which I don't often use, but I'm learning how to. And um, I'm gonna just go outside and film some, I say film, but I'm gonna take some shots and see how they come out. <laughs> so I feel pretty awesome um, being able to connect with other creators and just creative entrepreneurs and healers and all of the beautiful people who are here watching this I, it is such an honor and even though i definitely don't know what i'm doing most of the time um i'm really really thankful that i am learning i shared an instagram post on uh, yesterday and it just was this help and the reason why is because i felt really lost and underneath i just asked what do you need help with and the amount of comments or people that just kind of shared like what they were wanting help with was really incredible from praying for their sons, their children, um, themselves, understanding how to love themselves more, understanding how to prepare for the future. And um, it really brought me back into the center moment of we are all struggling and no one has anything really figured out who look like they do and that is kind of a comforting thing because even though not everything is figured out by planning and like actually saying what we need help with I feel that's the only way that we can actually receive that help whether it's with ourselves whether we're journaling it or brain dumping it um, so ultimately I think getting things together just means finding who can help you with what and how, of course, you can help them in exchange. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much the video for today. It was a bit long, uh, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let me know. Totally shout out Nil Times 4 for sending an amazing, amazing shirt that I love so much. Of course, I love it. 
And yeah, I'm going to now cook dinner for my family. I'm gonna make some lentil, red lentil tiki masala and some naan. And I hope it goes well. And I just thank you so much for spending this time and space with me. I pray that you enjoyed the video. If you did, you could press the thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Namaste.